Ahead of yesterday's first round of rain and storms, we received a ton of photos from viewers like you of dramatic cloud formations. The wavy, turbulent clouds also caught the eyes of our meteorologists. So what exactly were they? Fox 11's meteorologist Phil DeCastro shares his thoughts. If you were lucky enough to step outside in the middle of Tuesday morning around Northeast Wisconsin, you may have been treated to some dramatic wavy clouds overhead. This photo is one example sent to us by Mike in Manitowoc. Check out this big undulating wave in the cloud base over his head. You can see the highs and lows as it moves its way past him. But elsewhere, the clouds were more chaotic rather than sweeping and smooth. This is a time lapse from our Lambeau cam in Green Bay on Tuesday morning. And you can see that cloud base start to become choppy and turbulent and agitated. And while you can definitely tell that there are some underlying waves that are passing through in the clouds, it is much more chaotic. And I think there were a couple of things going on on Tuesday. I think some people saw what are called gravity waves and other people saw what are called asperitis clouds. Now, gravity waves are basically ripples in the atmosphere. In this case, I think the ripples and waves in the clouds were caused by approaching thunderstorms. Asperitis clouds, a relatively new term coined within the last 20 years and there's still a lot of uncertainty about what exactly needs to happen to trigger them but I think in this case they were the result of winds in the mid levels of the atmosphere interacting with the gravity waves and that muddied them up with a lot of turbulence so this is why that's my hunch on Tuesday morning a line of storms was approaching from the southwest now as thunderstorms punch vertically up into the atmosphere they create a ripple effect that expound, expands outward away from storms and you can often see this manifest as rows in the cloud structure and sometimes as waves on the underside of those clouds. On Tuesday, as those storms were approaching, it appears to my eye that there were some signs of gravity waves emanating out ahead of this line in the areas of thinner and thicker clouds uh, out ahead of that line. But we also need to consider what the winds in the clouds were doing, and I think this is where things get tricky. Along the lakeshore, mid-level winds were running a little bit more perpendicular to how the waves were oriented, which if anything, would probably help those waves propagate. So that's why in areas like in Manitowoc, you saw much smoother waves in those clouds, like in this picture from Sherry in Manitowoc. But toward the Fox Valley and in Green Bay, you saw those winds turn more parallel to those waves. So the waves were having to run across the wind direction and I think that created more turbulence. So that's why in Appleton and in Green Bay you saw much more of this overhead like in this photo from Kevin in Appleton. Much more chaotic and turbulent rather than seeing those smooth waves. Either way a very cool and very dramatic reminder about how dynamic the atmosphere can be. Meteorologist Phil DeCastro, Fox 11 News.